Stray, which released for PlayStation and Steam yesterday, has been an amazing experience with beautiful art and level design as well as deep, interesting story. Within all of this amazing game design, there is a secret hiding right beneath our noses. Or, I guess, pause. Today's video will be about the coded language used in the signs, title screens, and easter eggs strewn across the game. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. To start off with, this key was made by me and VSL member Antoine in the time since we installed the game we have been working on this code, so it was made within the last 12 hours. It was made by using locations where the word that was being shown in the coded language was also shown with its translation, a prime example being the word dead, because dead having two d's and e and an a, we were able to deduce that it says the letter dead when we were shown the dead screen. Other examples can be seen in you know loading screens and other places, which I will get to in a moment. By finding examples where we were able to decode what the coded words are saying, we could find component letters, allowing for further solves in locations where we don't have the solution right before us. So here on the screen now is our key. It is clearly missing some letters, but this is the best I could do and Antoine could do with the signs and cards that we were able to find and solve out for. There is most likely the remaining missing letters, but we just will need time to find and collect those letters. It also should be noted, there are multiple solutions for the letter E and some debate with the letter D because those letters, when written in certain circumstances, appear a little bit different and more simplified, which can make them look like completely different letters, but they are still the same letter. This key is relatively simple, being a one-to-one -one replaced with English letters with no deeper complicated solve involved. You're going to be able to read this from left to right, and the words are going to translate to English, no other language. Allowing for really quick, easy solves and solutions for many letters once you find a solution. So if you find a solution of a word, you're going to be able to get all the letters and move on very quickly, and it's not hard to establish lots of consistency with this um, key. So how can this key be used? Well, first, it can be used on every single chapter title screen. Using it on these title screens returns the following results. First, it will return the chapter's title, so inside the wall, and then it will return the big message of four characters that's on the top. In the first chapter's example, it is blue. In Dead City, the big word is city. In the flat chapter, the bottom text says blue 12 flat, and the top says help. On Slums Part 1, the top word says home. On Rooftops, the top word says radio. On Slums Part 2, the top word is hope. On Dead End, the top word is save. On Sewers, the top word is risk. On Ant Village, the top word is peace. On Midtown, the top word is light. In Jail, the top word is lost. And in Control Room, the top word is control. These obviously show the chapter's title as well as a small little message that reveals a little bit about the chapter. For example, inside the wall, blue being the only time we really see the sky, city, city, obviously, help being what we're getting in the flat chapter, home, slums is one of those few chapters where we're kind of getting uh, more uh, acclimated with some other people, um, radio on rooftops because we're installing the radio, hope in slums part two because we get that coded message, save on dead end because we save someone i think risk in sewers because there's a lot of zerks peace in ant village because the ant village is very peaceful it is a kind of little oasis light in midtown because of how brightly lit up it is lost in jail because we lose all of our companions for a little bit control in control room because we well, have control over the entire city the key can also be used outside of the menus on random pieces of background props using it on this newspaper shown here returns the word droid news um, and this key can likely be used to find tons of easter eggs and hidden pieces of lore, and me and my discord fully intend on doing exactly that. We intend on combing through the game, finding as many pieces of this coded text as possible, decoding it, and seeing what we can learn from that. If that interests you in any way, we will need all the help we can get, and we will greatly appreciate each and every person who decides to help us. And I will be keeping you guys on the channel updated with everything we find in, through the process of short little videos like this. But either way, I hope you guys have found this interesting like I did. And until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao!